Uh, sure. So um, my husband and I have always been involved with our Indigenous communities as well as uh, our Catholic communities and through the Archdiocese of Toronto. And uh, because it's been known that we have been so involved in both of these, having a foot in both of these worlds, uh, we were asked to be part of the Office of the Papal Visit on the programming team and uh, bring our experience of uh, uh, organizing events and um, organizing teams of volunteers and bringing volunteers together. I do have a background as an artist. I'm an artist and a dancer, and uh, so I enjoy um, designing my own regalia. I build it up, I sew it together. And um, so it came up that my artwork was seen and, and some footage and photos of me dancing in my regalia were seen. And uh, so I was approached and was asked, would I like to create a design for the vestments that uh, the Holy Father will be wearing while he celebrates Mass for Commonwealth in Edmonton. And uh, yeah, it was amazing, amazing to be asked. It's a, it's a great honor. I spent a lot of time in prayer. Prayer and discernment is, uh, is the way that I would put it, praying and discerning and just trying to quietly reflect and think this is a huge chance to share healing with people and, and am I the person to do that? Um, it's a, it's a, almost like a burden, it's almost like this weighty burden um, to think how can I share this and how can I, how can I in my way bring healing to people and, um, and bring that to their lives. And so I, when I spend a lot of time just in quiet discernment and prayer and trying to think what would this message look like? Um, it kind of came to me too where over the years, especially as an artist and a designer and putting together my regalia, um, it's like, like God has given me these gift, gifts and talents that I can use and if I don't use them for something, then they kind of fall flat and it's like what is the point then of having these and not, not using them? And because of my background is in understanding Indigenous tradition from, from my nation and my people and also Catholic tradition and being a storyteller and being able to share that, I really felt like, yeah, this is something I can do. This is something that I, I want to accept this challenge. <laughs> I want to, to see what I can do and what I can share. This is an amazing chance to be able to express um, Indigenous art and traditional art and combine it with the art of our Catholic faith and seeing those two come together. And um, when they asked me to design something, they said, we want your artistic nature to come through for it and gave me freedom for things like that. They did ask for some elements, certain elements that they were looking for, but they said, we want you to feel free to express your indigenous traditions and storytelling in, in the art. And maybe why this is getting a lot of attention is because we have things that we can do with politics and laws. But what this addresses is the spirit and healing from that place. Doesn't matter if you're Catholic, Christian, Hindu, Sikh, um, or of traditional indigenous faiths. The unique thing about this visit is it's addressing the spirit. And none of us know what that means exactly. It's a mystery. And so that's why I think there's a lot of trepidation and emotions around this, because none of us know what this means. And we'll see what happens. The design I was working on for, for quite a few days and went through several different uh, sketches and, and um, trying to choose shapes and colors and, and things and envision it in my mind. And um, yeah, some of the beadwork, uh, when I submitted it for, for approval, I thought, well, can I, I've never seen beadwork on a vestment before and I've never seen beadwork like this, but I had this image in my mind that I just wanted a certain beadwork on it. And I thought if this works and if this is approved, it would be amazing, it would be wonderful to, to just see that, that um, come to life. And um, so I, I didn't count beads. I, don't, I didn't count the beads exactly, but um, as I'm building and working on my regalia, and um, it's a tradition for Indigenous people when they're, when they're working on beadwork and, and regalia and things, that um, we keep in mind 
prayers, prayers for blessing for like for the people who are seeing it. And um, so as I'm working on the beadwork and, and stitching things on, I am very conscious and mindful of keeping thoughts in my, in my mind for prayers of blessing for people and, and prayers for hope and prayers for healing. And so that hopefully that is, speaks to people too when they see it, when, it, when they see it and it comes through that, uh, that they can feel those prayers that I had as I was working bead by bead and stitch by stitch and pencil drawing by pencil drawing. In the design, I just, I want people to, I think there's a couple of things I would say that I want, I would want people to, if it, if it resonates with them when they, when they see it, um, is that being mindful of what we, what we choose to do. And we can choose to hold on to anger. We can choose to hold on to fear or anxiety about things. Or we can choose to heal in our heart. We can, you know, maybe people, some people aren't ready for that right now, which is fine. Everyone has their own path that they're walking and their own way that they come. But healing comes through your heart being open to forgive. And I think we can see how the, the church right now is reaching out a hand and asking for help and saying, you know, we see what went wrong and we, need, we all need healing from it. You know, the church needs healing. The indigenous people need healing. And to be open to that, to have our hearts soften to that, to be open to it, that's how we can start to shed anger and fear and start to walk forward. Like, like it says on, on the, uh, the logo that we have, walk, walk, walking together and walk forward together. And that's where healing's gonna come.